There are certain guns that are known and respected by all. Undercover police, spies, criminals, and law-abiding citizens all have grown to have a deep-rooted respect for the Walther PPK. It quite possibly is one of the most recognizable guns out there. Honestly, if the average person saw a gun in a movie, they wouldn't know what it was. Unless it happened to be a Walther PPK, they might not be able to name it, but they definitely will recognize it as a gun they've seen before. This is a blowback operated semi-automatic pistol firing the 38 ACP. It is invented by Carl Walther. It is one of the most recognizable handguns ever made. Its beautiful shape and design made it, of course, James Bond's gun, which he traded up from the Beretta 418 and 25 ACP. This classic concealed carry pistol is so popular that over the last century it has become one of the most popular concealed carry weapons in the world because of how awesome it is in design and function. The original design of the Walther was a PP model, stood for police pistols made for European police, had a larger grip and barrel than the PPK. The PPK came a few years later with a shorter grip and barrel. Some debate on what the K stands for, many believe it's Kurtz for short, or criminal with a K. But that is what the K originally stood for because it was designed for the non-uniform crime investigation office. According to older 1930s advertising brochures, the K stood for criminal. The S came along as a product of the U.S. Gun Control Act in 1968. The Walther PPK fell short of importation in the U.S. because it was too light. So Walther shortened the grip on the original PP frame which put it over the weight necessary for importation into the U.S. This also allowed for 7 plus capacity instead of the original 6 plus in 380 ACP. Because of the Gun Control Act in 1968, small guns have to be manufactured in the U.S. instead of imported. Some are made elsewhere and then shipped as parts and put together here, but some are literally manufactured in the U.S. Recently, the Walther PPK is manufactured in Arkansas. When I was young, I owned a black Walther PPK. It was my only handgun at the time. It was a great gun, and I was proud to own it. Unfortunately, this handgun has gone through some manufacturing changes. Depending on the year, you don't know what you're going to get. Mostly produced in Germany for a while, it switched hands several times when production began in the U.S., for a while, it was the Smith & Wesson PPKS. Production stopped completely for quite a while until Walther Waffenfabrik started production again of the Walther PPKS in 380 and 22 lr And that comes in stainless steel or black. The 22 lr is made in Germany and is, in my opinion, a junk gun. The 380 ACP is made in Arkansas, however, and is a craft of art not just in appearance but also in presentation which I've never said about another gun. Looking at it it's clearly constructed with quality being a top priority. Shooting it I found it dead on accurate. Flawless performance. It would make James Bond proud. A peculiar feeling shooting it. I've carried a Smith & Wesson bodyguard for a long time. It's a much smaller and much lighter 380 ACP. But this heavy, larger pistol, the PPKS, kicks much harder than the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. It's because the PPK has a fixed barrel and the shield uses a locking block barrel originally designed by John Browning and the recoil is significant in the PPK. My overall thoughts are most who have loved this pistol over the century would say the best Walther PPKs are the older ones made in Germany models. My opinion, these new Walther PPKs coming out of Arkansas in 380 ACP, not 22 LR, but the 380 ACP are by far superior to any other generation of Walther PPs produced in almost a hundred years. Love to hear your thoughts on the Walther PPKS. Put in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support our channel through Patreon, that link is also below. 
But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. Never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.